guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am in Russia. On Instagram, I've been posting a lot of what I've been seeing lately. And so one thing which I thought it would be, it would be really fun to show you guys um, is what this, this elixir that I'm making because I've been feeling kind of under the weather and they're, they have a lot of berries that are sold um, in the streets. And one berry that I bought is lingonberry. Have you guys ever seen this? This is what they sell at Ikea. I've never seen it in real life. It's kind of like, um, I tasted it. It's kind of like a cranberry, but like miniaturized and um, like more grainy inside, like more meaty. And then I also found some ginger. And I also found turmeric. But, but the only thing is that you know how our turmeric is this like really bright orange color that stains everything? Here I was only able to find white turmeric, which I didn't know existed. I thought I got a defective sort. So I Googled it and found out that this is just a different species of turmeric. It has a couple of different... Um, it's slightly different. It's it's a milder, more gingery in, in flavor. And I decided to make this elixir that is full of vitamin C, full of goodness, and lingonberries are incredible for your kidneys. So I thought that this would be a wonderful, wonderful combination to have on hand and sip, especially while I'm uh, teaching, talking, doing a lot of classes, vlogging. So all I did here was put a handful of lingonberries, a piece about this big, so about, let's say, I'd say about an inch of ginger, and I just made sure to clean it. I left the skin on because the skin also has quite a bit of um, really healthy properties, and then I smushed it because, you know, as you guys know, when you, when you crush ginger and you crush all these... Um, roots and herbs and stuff that's when all the flavors come out and it helps it helps infuse the 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 herbal elixir tea thing and i did the same thing with the ginger uh i mean sorry not the ginger the turmeric and i left it on but because the turmeric was um kind of like soily it still had a bit of the ground on it i just kind of used my thumb when i was washing under the water to kind of take off all of the imperfections and this has been boiling for i'd say about 15 minutes and then I turned it off for about 10 minutes to let it infuse and then I started the boiling process again. And as you can see, the water has turned this beautiful shade of red and it smells, well, it smells incredible. It smells very, very warm, very fall. So this would be wonderful to keep on hand for fall um, as the cold season um, comes in. Although we've been so lucky, we've had an Indian summer because when I just got here it was constant rain and I was I was a little depressed because I was like, what the hell? This is my first time in Russia and I've never seen anything and I can't see anything, it's raining. But look how beautiful it is. Beautiful weather. Well, very, they have a lot of these trees. I don't know what they're called in English, but they're really pretty. They're white. They have a lot, a lot of them. And, oh, and I had an adventure with my wine bottle. Got a bottle of wine. Don't have a bottle opener. No idea. No idea what I'm going to do about that. And I found these olives that have, they're stuffed with lemon inside. How cool is that? So yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of fun things here. But for now, this is my recipe that I'm going to be putting up on the blog. It is lingonberry ginger turmeric elixir. Full of goodness and wonderful for the upcoming cold season. I hope you guys tried and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, ring the bell, ring the bell, <laughs> as the Bella sisters love to say. Yes, I watch WWE. And so thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye.